Hello guys, I am Joe, or Mr. Hanard, whatever you, you want to call us, and um, yeah, today we will be doing uh, some OCR for FSMQ, uh, Freestanding Maths Qualification, Additional Mathematics, and uh, th this uh, this is just a, a little thing I'm teaching at my school currently, and um, yeah, I thought for you guys out there that might be a little bit stuck with FSMQ, um, you know, I... I I'd, I'd put the powerpoints on here so i've been working in conjunction with my um you know actual maths teacher and, and form tutor and um you know used some of his powerpoints but adapted them for my needs and um yeah i'm putting them on to here now so today's lesson is uh, division of polynomials so the learning objective is obviously to divide a linear term into a cubic term so uh we'll start here you can add two pieces of algebra uh, you know, for example, 4x squared add 3x squared added to x squared add 5, 5x equals uh, 5x squared plus 8x because the 4 and the, 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 four and the, uh, the 1 add to make 5 and the 3 and the 5 add to make 8. So, you know, easy peasy. Uh, and you can multiply two pieces of algebra. So, you know, just expand the brackets. So the 4x squared times the, the x squared to make 4x to the 4, and etc, etc. Not going to insult your intelligence too much about that. Uh, but can you divide two pieces of algebra? Well, yes, you can. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a point in this lesson. <laughs> I wouldn't be recording this video right now. But uh, like all good division, you normally divide a smaller thing into a larger thing. Uh, we'll always divide a linear term into a cubic. You'll never divide a cubic into a linear because, you know, obviously that doesn't work. Uh, so let's use an example with numbers. So what is 35 divided by 10? You would instantly think 3.5, but actually, if you think about it this way, it's 3 remainder 5 because there's 3 tens in 35 and then you've got 5 left over. So that actually means that 35 equals 3 times 10 plus 5. So that's how many times it goes in. 3. That's your remainder. And yeah, that's what we'll be talking about today with the division of polynomials because that's really what it's telling us. So here's our first question. What is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 divided by x plus 2? Well, there we go. Like all good long algebraic, well, all long division, you, you have your little bus shelter there, uh, you have your smaller term on the left, your larger term on the right, and then you have to ask yourself, what do you have to times uh, x by to get x cubed? And you would say x squared, and you'd put it on top. And then what you have to do there is times that x squared by the x and by the 2, and you would get, obviously, x cubed again, and you'd get a 2x squared, and you'd put that un underneath. Now, we, we just subtract these terms, so you get x cubed minus x cubed, which is 0, and 3x squared minus 2x squared, which is just x squared. And you, you get the 5x and the 1 dropping down, because we haven't touched them yet. And then you do it again. You ask yourself, what are times x by to get x, x squared? And you say to yourself, x and then you times it out again, x times x is x squared, put underneath, x times 2 is 2x, put that underneath, like that. And then we subtract again, so x squared minus x squared is 0. Always will be, if uh, you're getting a remainder off that, you're doing it wrong, to put it bluntly. Uh, 5x minus 2x, and that'll equal 3x, and we haven't touched the 1, and then we'll ask ourselves, what are we times x by to get 3x? We'll say 3. And then we times the 3 by the x plus 2, and we get that. And then we subtract again, and we will end up with a minus 5 at the bottom. And that is our answer at the top. So that's how many times it goes in. And that is our remainder. So, there's some applause for you. I'm sure you enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, x plus 2 times x squared plus x plus 3, and then minus and 5 off at the end will give you your original cubic. If you if you have a spare 5 seconds, uh, well, not 5 seconds, maybe maybe a couple of minutes to expand that bracket and take 5 off, you will get that cubic. I promise you that much. So that is what we're talking about today. Let's do another example. 
So what is x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 4 divided by x minus 3? Well, we'll draw a big bus shelter again, and then we ask ourselves, what do we times x by to get x cubed? x squared times it out, and you get that. Careful of double negatives here. Uh, x cubed minus x cubed is 0, and minus 2x squared minus minus 3x squared is the same as uh, plus and 3x squared, so we just get 1x squared. So just to say that again, minus 2x squared minus minus 3x squared is the same as minus 2x squared plus 3x squared, and that equals just a single x squared. And the x minus 4 just drops down because we haven't touched it yet. Then we'll ask ourselves again, what do we times x by to get x squared? And we get x. And then we times it out, and we'll get that. And then we, we subtract again. Uh, x squared minus x squared is 0. x minus minus 3x is really x plus 3x, which is 4x. And the minus 4 drops down because we haven't touched it yet. Then we ask ourselves, what do we times x by to get 4x? And we say 4, and times it out and get that. And then subtract 4x minus 4x is 0. Minus 4 minus minus 12 is the same as minus 4 plus 12, which is 8. So that is our answer, and that is, that is our remainder. So yeah, that is how you divide polynomials. We will get another round of applause here, I promise. You. And I've just stopped it because it's annoying. And yeah, that is how you divide polynomials. Um, and that is pretty much it. I will be putting a uh, worksheet down below in the description. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are good with that. Uh, there is one more example on here that I, I want to take you through. Not this one, because that's pretty much the same. Um, yeah, more applause, thank you. But this one, this one here, this is an interesting one. Um, so there you go. Uh, put a bush shell up, but as you notice, there's no squared term in this one, so I've left a, a nice little gap where it would go, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 that that's what I would recommend doing because you might be get a bit confused when we get to the subtraction stage, but we'll go as normal for fir uh, at, at first. So what do you times x by to get two x cubed? 2x squared times throughout, you get that. And now you can see that gap is coming in handy because if you didn't write the gap, you might have done minus 3x minus 8x squared, which doesn't make sense because um, they're not the same uh, power uh, of x. So we subtract as normal. So, oh, seen the answer there. But uh, 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. And you can put 0x squared plus 0x squared. There's a teacher at my school that does that. It might be you know, helpful to you instead of the gap. But what's that saying to me is 0. So it'll be 0 minus minus 8x squared, which is just saying to me 0 plus 8x squared, which just equals that. And the three minus 3x three and the 9 drop down because we haven't touched them yet. And then we do it again. We ask ourselves, what are we times x by to get 8x squared? We say 8x times throughout like that. Uh, carefully double negative, subtract down, and you'll get that. And then we ask ourselves, how many? Uh, uh, what do you times x by to get 29x? 29 times throughout, you get that. And you get a lovely, lovely remainder of 125. And there's your answer, there's your remainder, there's the applause, which I've stopped early. So that is what that is. That is how you divide algebra and algebra. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Lesson. I hope you've found it helpful. I will answer any questions down in the comments section below if you have any. Uh, but yeah, this is just a trial. Uh, honestly, it's it's just something I do for fun. I, I, I want to become a maths teacher uh, after university, hopefully. And uh, yeah, this is a great experience. Um, but yeah, all, all of the, the, the PowerPoints, most of them have been, you know, tweaked by me, but originally made by my teacher. And, uh, you know, 100, well, yeah, 100% of the credit goes to him. Uh, you know, he's a wonderful maths teacher, and we're very lucky to have him at my school. But, uh, yeah, uh, you know, if you have any feedback, uh, put it down below. If there's anything you want me to go through, uh, I will do. Um but yeah, this is uh, lesson one. Uh, I'm not following the, 
the textbook as such, the, the order that they go in. Uh, but the next lesson will be factor and remainder theorem because it's very much linked to uh, division of polynomials. So, yeah, we'll go through that in the next lesson. I don't think there's any other examples. There we go, end of slideshow. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and uh, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day and good luck with FSMQ if this is the only video you watch. It's a, it's a nice little course and it'll prepare you for A level uh, very well. It covers a lot of bases. So, yeah, but. Uh, any feedback down below and I hope you are having a great day and I'll see you next time.